I don't have my scissors this time, so I just can be be careful not to touch the glue. Hi everyone. Hello guys, welcome back to more card game openings, and this is the second of three Magic Secret Lair card sets that I'll be opening from my current order. This one is Pictures of the Floating World. The cards inside depict the ukiyo-e art style that Japan is famous for during around the 17th and 18th centuries. And also, the uh, cards inside will have Japanese text. Thank you for being a part of Secret Lair. I think that's pretty standard. Unlike this, the Street Fighter set that I just opened last time. Oh, that's so beautiful. And yep, and there is a bonus card. I can feel it from underneath my hand. Okay, I gotta do this very easily because of the glue. glue. Twist it around. Almost there. Ooh, this one's stretching. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, I'll set that off to the side for later. I don't have my scissors this time, so I just gotta be, be careful not to touch the glue. See, look. It's already smearing. So just be very careful. There, I got it there. Alright, so because these cards are in Japanese, I'm not going to be able to decipher the names on each of the cards, but if you go to the Pictures of the Floating World area of the website for Secret Lair, for lack of better words, it will tell you each card in English. So by the color of this one, I assume this is planes, and I think all five of the cards are lands, and I'm willing to guess that the lands are from the old school Kamigawa block from the mid 2000s. Ooh, they're stuck. Okay, got it. So the condition on this one is ooh, really good centering. Maybe a little bit skinny on the top. I don't think it matters, anyways. Yeah, back's pretty good. Get my sleeve. So here's one card. Here's the next one. I'm going to show this to you one more time so you get a good glimpse of it. So it looks like it is some traditional Japanese house on a cherry blossom tree. So I'm guessing, like, once again, this is planes, and I do see planes down there, so I guess I am right. For this one, looks like this is island. I can tell now because the color is blue, and I see island symbols down there as well. Now this one looks like it's a giant turtle. Look, you can see its head right there. Kind of reminds me of a certain Disney movie that has a turtle for like an island. I can't remember what it was. I think it was like an Aladdin spin-off movie or something like that. Anyways. I like the, the waves too. It reminds me of the famous uh, The Great Wave off Kamigawa, I think. I can't remember the name. I'll have to look it up again. It's a very famous Ukiyo-e art print. I actually have it as a display. In you go. Number three. Oh, stuck together. One more. Okay. This one is swamp. Ooh, the trees have hands. Spooky. You can see a little bit of a uh, like red dots. So it looks like eyeballs coming out of the trees, like they're like bugs or birds or owls. Very haunting. Also with the moon in the background. Yep, it is swamp because it's. Swamp down there, and it's black on there as well. Okay, get a sleeve for that. Yep. Next is mountain, because it's red, of course. And there's mountains, obviously. You can see a red, bright, boiling sun on the top. I'm guessing this might be like a, not quite a mountain, but maybe a volcano with the streaks being like the lava. Makes sense because Japan does have volcanoes. I feel bad for this area. Looks like there are houses down there and just imagine lava just just uh, spewing right down on the on the town below. Condition is very nice. No whitening. That's good. 
Wait, is that a hair? Hang on, I got a hair up my sleeve. Now it's in, in the sleeve, that's great. Okay, it's gone. Alright, got it. Alright, last one. Before I get to the bonus card. Is the forest. Ooh, nice bridge. Bridgeway to some of these little floating homes. Let's see, of my... Like, of all five of these, my favorite... I'm gonna have to say the plains one over here because it looks like a big cherry blossom tree. But anyways, for this card, okay, let's get that last sleeve for this one. And there you have it. Those are the five cards for the Pictures of the Floating World Secret Lair card set. All right, so what's the bonus card this time? Will it be something special to go with these, or will it be just a basic land? Let's find out. Ooh, a sliver. A two-headed sliver, and looks like this is a borderless card, too. All sliver creatures have menace. Now, I don't know what slivers have anything to do with the floating world Japanese land cards here. That's okay, though. I mean, I'll take it. It is considered a rare. It does say rare as an R on the bottom left. I'm guessing this might be a promo card because, like I said, it is borderless over here. I will take this out, but I'm going to do it off screen. So there you go. And that's going to do it. I will see you guys in the third of my three secret layer openings. Which I'm not going to say what it is yet until next time. But with that, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel. Marcus P. Gaming for video game let's play content. I'll see you later, but until then, like always, take care.